books, I don't like stories, nor am I going to act. Nor part round the campfire, what ain't a truthful fact. Fill up your pipes and listen, I'll tell you, let me see. I think it was in 50, from then till 63. You've all heard tell of Bridger, I used to ride with him. And many a hard day scouting, I did alongside Jim. And back near old Fort Reno, a trapper used to dwell. We called him Mad Jack Reynolds, and the scouts all him well. In the spring of 50, we camped on Powder River. We killed a calf of buffalo and cooked a slice of liver. While eating quite contented, we heard three shots or four. Put out the fires and listen, and we heard a dozen more. We all knew old Jack Reynolds had moved his traps up there. So picking up our rifles and hitching up our gear, we moved as quick as lightning to save us our desire. Too late the painted heathens had set the camp on fire. We turned our horses quickly and waited down the stream. And close beside the water, I heard a muffled scream. And there among the bushes, a little girl did lie. I picked her up and whispered, I'll save you or I'll die. God, what a ride, old Bridger, had covered my retreat. Sometimes a child would whisper in a voice so low and sweet. Dear Papa, God will take you to Mama up above. There's no one left to love me, there's no one left to love. The little girl was 13 and I was 22. Said I'll be your Papa and I'll love you just as true. She nestled to my bosom hazel eyes so bright looked up and made me happy through the close pursuit that night one year passed when Maggie recalled her hazel eyes in truth was gone to leave me had come to say goodbye her uncle Mad Jack Reynolds long since reported dead had come to claim my angel, his brother's child, he said. What could I say we parted, Mad Jack was growing old. I handed him a banknote and all I had in gold. They rode away at sunrise, I went a mile or two. In parting said we'll meet again, may God watch over you. While resting by a babbling brook, a little cabin stood. And weary from the long day's ride, I saw it in the wood. The pleasant valley stretched beyond, the mountains towered above. Like some painted picture, or a well-told tale of love. Drinking in the sweetness, and resting in the saddle. I heard a gentle rippling, like the dipping of a paddle. And turning toward the water, a strange sight met my view. A pretty girl was seated in a little birch canoe. She stood up in the center, her rifle to her eye. 
I thought for just a moment my time had come to die. So I tipped my hat and told her if it was all the same to drop her little shooter as I was not her game. She dropped her deadly weapon and she leaped from her canoe. She said, I beg your pardon, I thought you were a Sioux. Your long hair and your buckskins looked warrior-like and rough. My beat was spoiled by sunlight or I'd have killed you sure enough. Or perhaps it would be better had you killed me here, said I. For surely such an angel could bear me to the sky. She blushed and dropped her eyelids, her face was crimson red. One shy glance she gave me and then hung down her head. Then her arms flew around me, I'll save you or I'll die. I held her to my bosom, my long lost hazel eyes. The rapture of that moment was heaven unto me. I kissed her then amid her tears, her merry wit and glee. Her heart against mine was beating when sobbingly she said, My dear long lost preserve her, they told me you were dead. The man who claimed me from you, my uncle good and Lies ill in yonder cabin And he talks so much of you If Joe were living, darling He said to me last night He'd care for you, dear Maggie When God puts out my light We found the old man sleeping Hush, Maggie, let him rest The sun was slowly sinking In the far-off golden west all those spoken whispers, he opened up his eyes. A dream, a dream, he murmured, a last a dream of lies. She drifted like a shadow to where the old man lay. You've had a dream, dear uncle, another dream today. Oh yes, I saw an angel as pure as drifted snow. And standing close beside her was California Joe. She said, I'm not an angel, dear uncle, as you know. These little hands in this face were never white as snow. But listen while I tell you, for I have news to cheer. Your haze lies is happy, for truly Joe is here. Then but a few days later, the old man said to me, Joe, boy, she is an angel, or as good as angels be. For three long months she's hunted, and Joe, she's nursed me too. And I believe that she'll be safe alone, my boy, with you. And but a few days later, Maggie, my wife, and I went riding from that valley with teardrops in our eyes. For there beside the cabin within a new made grave, we laid him neath the daisies for Uncle Good and Brave. Hereafter, every gentle spring will surely find us there. At his gravesite in the valley, who keep it fresh and fair. Our love is newly kindled while resting by the stream. And two hearts were united in love's sweet, happy dream. And now you've heard my story, and this you ought to know. That Hazel Eyes is happy with Cal.